Well, kind of winging this here, but I um, want to come to you obviously with something very important, and that is uh, some information about Hurricane Harvey that is impacting Texas the last few days and still currently. Um, if you're like me, um, feeling pretty helpless um, as far as trying to help out because there's so many people that need help and the recovery efforts and rescue efforts are and stuff are just insane, um, the amount of people that have been affected. Um, so, you know, I've been feeling um, pretty guilty not being able to, to do more and um, one of the things I want to come and talk to you guys about um, as far as, you know, my subscribers, uh, just general viewers and anybody who's new to the channel or have to see this video, um, one of the biggest things you can do if you want to help um, and you have the ability to help and that is to donate. Um, even if it's just $5 or it's $500, um, every little bit will help. You know, if, if a million people donate five dollars, that's five million dollars that go to the efforts um, for the people who are being who are being impacted, um, and who are going to continue to be impacted by Hurricane uh, Harvey. Um, feel very fortunate. Uh, my fiance and I um, we're very lucky. We live in an apartment and we live on the third floor, so thankfully um, we had no damage. Um, our our close friends and family are all fine, and houses and cars are fine. But um, there's many people who are just streets and blocks away from us whose cars um, and houses have been flooded. Um, even just a few miles away, there's houses underwater in Dickinson, Friendswood. Uh, it is scary. It is absolutely crazy. Um, so we're going we're gonna to show you a few clips that we took um, in and around our area. But like I said, if you can, please donate. Um, we're going to show you a site here. There's so many places you can donate. Um, one of the ones that we've been hearing really good things about is um, a foundation, or well, a uh, um, donation that JJ Watt uh, from the Houston, Texas set up. And you can go to youcaring.com. And I think it originally started to earn, I think, 500,000 or maybe 250,000. Mm -hmm. And now it's almost at 4 million. So um, that is a huge, huge, uh, just milestone um, as far as donations from people. So um, everybody in Texas um, who's been affected by the storm could definitely, definitely use you know some help. So um, if you guys see this video, if you don't mind sharing it, showing your friends, and if you can donate, um, that would be absolutely fantastic. My fiance and I are gonna do what we can. Um, we don't have a lot, but we're gonna try to give a little bit because there's a lot of people who um, have lost everything. So if you can give a little bit, if you can give a lot, whatever you can do, um, that will definitely help. And like I said, if you're like me, if you're wanting to help, um, I know I'm trying to look for volunteer opportunities. Um, you know, if you're out of state, things like that, and you want to help, best thing you can do is donate. So I just want to get this word out, and um, everybody who has uh, been in the path of this storm and affected by this storm has had any kind of loss or damage. You know, our our, our thoughts are with you, and we can't say sorry enough. Um, it's just it's it's overwhelming what's going on. So. Um, like I said, we're trying to do what we can, and we hope that everybody else can do what they can. So uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this video, and we hope everybody stays safe, stick together, and uh, we will get through this. Texas will rebuild. Uh, we'll come together, and we will get through this. So um, stay tuned. We'll show y'all a few clips, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Out trying to get back to our apartment. We've been in Clear Lake for the past few days. Um, we're just trying to see if we can make it home. But yeah, that's Clear Creek right now. So far so good, not a lot of water on the roads. It's normally a parking lot for the church. It doesn't look like they got any water in the actual church. Yeah, so guys, this is Clear Creek on 270. I mean, it is bad. After it is Harvey. definitely in the house mm -hmm. on the creek. Yeah. There's normally a road right there that allows you to get around the bridge. But it's totally submerged in water.
other these side. These poor people are all yeah. from these apartment complexes. They had to park up here to get to higher water because the, the, at least this apartment complex here. Right. Uh, or no, it's just one. It's for down the, here, yeah. It's. I mean, it's just a. Pool it's of underwater. Water. Cars are underwater. Yeah. But yeah, so that's. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there's water all right there. So this apartment complex only has um, floor apartments on the second and third floors, but all underneath is submerged in water. All of it. All right, now we're in Clear Lake, next to the Hilton Hotel, and we're about to see what the lake looks like. <laughs> so it's in the hotel parking lot, as you can see, all the way up here. Yeah, it's high. <laughs> Very high. Yeah, this was there. underwater. Clear Lake Park is underwater. Yes. Wow. There's the Endeavor. Kima Bridge in the distance. Yeah, Clear Lake Park is totally underwater. Yeah. There's normally a boat ramp right here where you can in, put your boats in, but it's it's gone. Wow. Oh, it's there. Yeah. It's just under four or five feet of water. And as mentioned earlier, it's continuing to rain. <laughs> yeah. 